Alert Steel is another Altex listed seller of steel building and hardware materials. It listed in 2007 and crashed badly in 2009, requiring a series of rights issues to stay afloat. Another issue to raise 120 rand is in the pipeline. A million, million rand. rand. I was wondering whether how small the stock actually is. It has a market cap of 88.6 million rand and no price to earnings ratio since it traded at a loss in 2011. How alert is alert? Spectacular wipeout. <laughs> Look, the company was uh, founded by a guy called Vane on Scalacomp, a head office uh, on the northern side of Pretoria. Again, listed in that same environment. Went big. They bought a whole lot of plumbing and building supply material stores in that kind of region heading out towards also the west of uh, the Gauteng region. They expanded their workforce. They got into uh, all sorts of new relationships with uh, companies uh, supplying steel on credit and so on and so forth. When the, di the bad times came, they came very badly. So the share basically collapsed and the profits were wiped out and they've had big write downs. They've now sold off the assets other than the steel merchanting. A company called Capital Steel, which is another competitor unlisted in the market has basically taken them over and the Scalacomp family has been sidelined and you know they're now sitting at a price around five six five seven cents, cents. Five cents. could it be the 10 bag of the future we've got to rush on this one well look I mean the guys that have taken over are not idiots um, the chairman of the board is Malcolm McCulloch who's also involved with Breit and Wilderness Safaris and he's been involved with the steel business so I think it could do okay but they've got a long long way to repair the balance sheet here. Reynard a quick thought on alert yeah, look, I think as Paul said, it's, it's, it's done extremely badly. Um, what, what I suppose the one positive thing is, is that they, I think, I think they've exited the building materials business that they kind of went, went into during the, the construction boom craze in 2007 and 8. So at least that loss-making business is now not with them anymore. They have restructured, um, but it's, it's quite early to kind of say whether they're going to be successful or not. Um, they haven't made any profit since, I think, 2009. It's still very early days, so I would have to probably not give them the benefit of All the right, doubt. All right, so we're going with hot. Say, if no, I say to you hot I'll, or I'll not, negative. not hot, not hot. Paul? Also not hot, not me hot me just yet.